This is the setup tutorial for Zaya, Legends of a Drift System. Step 1. Take the sector tiles, place them all face down on the table, shuffle them up and deal one tile per player face up on the table. In this example, we're setting up a three player game, so we'll deal three tiles. As you deal them out, place the first one randomly, and with the next one, make sure and line up the little symbols on the edge of the tile to the one that we've already laid. Remember. If you draw any tiles that don't have a spawn point, put it back in the deck, shuffle it up, and draw a new one. Step 2. Take the exploration tokens, flip them face down, shuffle them up, and place one token on each of the exploration spaces on the starting tiles. Step 3. Take the mission card deck, shuffle it up, and place it on the table. Then take the title card deck, shuffle it up, and place it on the table too. Step 4. Place all of these components on the play area. Cargo cubes, damage markers, outfits arranged by shape and color, and finally place the credit coins and the dice. Step 5. Give each player a how to win card. This is a reference card. On the back it has player actions, and on the front it lists various ways you can earn fame points. Also give each player 3,000 credits, that is 3 silver coins. Step 6. NPCs. If this is your first game, we recommend playing the first game rules, which do not include the NPCs, so you may skip this step. Otherwise, take the three NPC cards, deal one to each player. In a four or five player game, not everyone will get a card, and that's okay. The players who get cards now take the corresponding NPC miniature and place it on their card. Step 7. Take the fame point track and place it on the table. Take the victory marker, and at this time, you will decide how many points you want to play to. You can play a short game to 5 or 6 points, or a longer game to 15 or 20. If this is your first game, we recommend playing to 5 points, as this will keep the game nice and short. Step 8. Separate the blue, tier 1 ship mats and matching ability cards. Set aside the purple and green ones for now. Each player now rolls the d20. The player with the highest roll gets to choose first. They will take a matching tier 1 ship mat, ability card, and miniature. This continues counterclockwise around the table until each player has chosen. Then take your miniature and place it on the spawn point of the sector tile closest to you. Step 9. Each player now takes an impulse token, a set of 6 markers, and a matching color token. Place the impulse token, yellow side up, on the impulse space of your ship mat. Take one marker and place it on the fame point track on the number zero. Take another marker and place it on the highest number of your ship mat's energy meter. Take four markers and place them on your ship mat under the armed section. And last, take your color token and place it onto your ship miniature flight stand. Step 10. In the same order as ship selection, that is, counterclockwise, each player will take a turn spending credits to purchase outfits for their ship. If this is your first time playing Zion, choosing which outfits to purchase can be a little bit daunting. So on page 3 of your rulebook, in the first game section, we have outlined some strategies and outfit combinations that will help your first game to go smoothly. Congratulations! The game is now ready to start. The player who picked their ship last gets to take the first turn.